Tonight I'm going to show you some amazing experiences, now possible because of technology Intel is bringing to life. We're going from a two-dimensional world to a three-dimensional world. This additional dimension will change how we experience computing. Perhaps you've heard or seen RealSense technology. It understands us much more naturally. Unlike most cameras, RealSense can see and understand depth. We integrated RealSense into the world's thinnest tablet, the Dell Venue 8 7000. Took a picture earlier of my favorite gelato here. And again, because Real Sense understands depth, we've left it black and white, but let's say we want to add color. We want to add color as we go along the length of the gelato. I simply scan along here, and as it goes further and further back, I add the color back in. And let's, uh, let's talk to our cook Chuck here and have him show us how Real Sense uh, applies here. Hey Brian, how's it going? Good, Chuck, how's it going? I brought my laptop. I want to show you, well, that looks like my daughter's laptop half the time, yes. Yeah, this is what happens when you bring your laptop into the kitchen and you use it with yucky fingers, right? Yep. So RealSense can take care of that whole thing for you. Let me show you. So you can see, got my chicken, it's all marinated here, got the dry rub going, but uh, yeah, don't, I don't that know. Up. So using the RealSense camera, I can prevent that. See, so I was able to bring that recipe right in, right? And if I want to scroll to the end, I simply make that gesture, and it lets me scroll. The 3D world is truly here. One of the best examples of bringing the 3D vision to reality comes from our friends at HP. Exactly that. HP is bringing its 30-year print expertise to 3D. This chain link was printed in under 30 minutes. It weighs less than a quarter of a pound and can lift up to 10,000 pounds. So what happens when you have a 3D input combined with a 3D display? Well, we've been looking at different strategies of bringing your display off of just its flat surface and up into 3D. Uh, uh, here we've integrated some custom optics from our partners at Oscanet uh, to create the optical illusion of a display floating out in midair, uh, almost like a touch-sensitive hologram. I'll show you. The camera on the left is Jonathan playing the keys, not touching anything. His hands are in mid-space. I could tell you, we integrated RealSense TrueKey an ADT home security pulse interactive alarm system into this future solution. And you can see it's already green. It's already detected that Megan is in the proximity of the door. So let's see Megan enter the home. So you can see she walks up, her phone is authenticated. She shows her face, the face is authenticated. The alarm is disabled. And the next step, the door is unlocked. Door is unlocked. Uh, the door is unlocked. Maybe I should let Megan in. Oh, there it goes. You know, it's just when you get up. Robots of today can improve our lives at home and at work. We've been collaborating with iRobot, the company that created Roomba for consumers. To show you what we've created, I'd like to introduce a friend of mine from iRobot right now. Hi, Brian. It's uh, Colin Angle from iRobot. Thanks for inviting me here today. So thank you for having me, Brian. Now, there's something very unique about these drones. They also have an Intel processor that helps these drones use the information from RealSense to see, think, and adapt. No more collisions. Guys, why don't you walk through the drones? You can see they've put down their controls. The drones are adapting to them. 
we'll use this drone here, and we're gonna play a little drone ping pong, simply moving the drone between us. You see the drone continues to try and stay in one position, but we'll keep it from going in the audience, avoiding us at all times. These drones can avoid obstacles, and the fact is, the real world is filled with all kinds of obstacles. So we decided to build one here at CES, and we want to see if our drones can safely navigate through it. We call it our very own Game of Drones. <laughs> what you see is the drone takes off, and Daniel will put the controller up, as he just simply releases it and says, go from point A to point B being here. He puts the controller up and the drone's off on its own control. And you'll see it moving left to right, but not only is it moving left to right, it's having to move up and down as it avoids the obstacles that we've put in its place. The drone's doing this all on its own. We could go in and change. If somebody wants to stand in front of that drone, they're welcome to. We made one last obstacle to prove to you this is live. We put a set of doors at the end, preventing the drone from getting to its final home. So let's say we let the drone go home and we go ahead and open the doors. We knew we could make computers and compute even smaller. And I have to tell you, we've done it. We've made them so small, they're like the button on this jacket. I'd like to introduce you to Curie. Curie is the next generation in computing. This module contains a Quark SOC, Bluetooth low energy radio, sensors, it's power efficient, can run for extended periods of time from a coin-sized battery or a rechargeable battery. The engineers at Intel asked the question, what problems could we solve using wearables? And the first such application was easy to imagine. How could we help the visually impaired? I'd like to show you this using this mannequin. The mannequin has real sense technology, and you can see it on the side screens as well. It has a real sense camera in the front, and these six sensors around the body. And as I approach it, you'll see it go from blue to red as I get closer. And there's also a vibration that lets the wearer know. You can see I'm approaching from the right, I'm approaching from the left now, and the mannequin continues to see as I move around.